Okay, so uh, here we have a uh, fan motor from IBM Pabst. It has been sitting in a, a Frico 2 kilowatts uh, uh, heating fan. So this is the fan moving the the air around the heating elements and it doesn't work uh, so I thought we would take a look at it. It's a pole shaded motor and I'm fresh at this uh, fans so trying to learn and don't be too harsh in the comments. Uh, so let's, let's hook it in. up. See what happens. You can hear it sound? It just sounds. Doesn't spin. So, you can see the shaded part here, I believe. And by the way, I'm, I'm just an uh, amateur on this. But I'm trying to figure it out. You see those copper uh, rods? That's the shaded part of the winding. Got one on each. Yeah, so anyway, I put some uh, loop grease inside here into the bushing. And I've also put some inside here. It's hard to get, get access. But it at least runs better now. And see if that makes any improvement. I'm also gonna test if they are uh, steel bushings, which I believe they are. So seems to be steel. So, managed to turn the bushing here. I'm gonna try to take it out and clean it out. So I got the little piece here in, in it's self-adjusting you can see you can push it and I've greased it up a bit and see if it helps gonna put it back so it's basic uh, design I like like that you can dis disassemble it so at least it's much better than before. It doesn't sound too great. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna hook it up and see if it if it will start. Yes. Sounds bad. And there we and there it stopped. So yeah, it's a bearing problem, I guess. Let's try one more time. Nope. Something makes it turn bad. I guess now it will start again. For how long? Sounds bad, right? So these are the EBM Q series, I believe. Another time, I'm pushing this in. And let's try this out. 
doesn't help much. Well, you can definitely hear it's a bad. Then it gets. Well, now it stopped. I got a lot of play here. When it's inside, it's pretty okay. Then it starts. But it's getting pretty hard. Okay, I think I gave up with this one, and uh, hope you got something out of it. Bye bye. So I've just pulled it apart again, and uh, to remember that the long axle is on this side, where this one is. You just pull this out. That's what I did anyway. So I wonder if I can replace this one with a ball bearing. This is bushing and ball bearing. I want build ball bearing. So the dimension is about 29 or 30, something like that. 29, 30, 31. And the shaft is. is six millimeter so you want a ball bearing six millimeter inside and about 30 wide so I'm removing the outer shield here, of the bushing. Oops. Well, you can see you don't even have so a filth inside. inside. It's just uh, grease and, and the steel. Piece. So yeah, no wonder they don't last. It's the cheapest you can do, I guess. Bad, bad. So I wonder if I can put a a ball bearing there. Yeah, mm. we'll try in another video. Try looking in, in the other videos in the section. And I do believe that we will go with a smaller than 30. Since I can't find one with 6mm. But uh, to be continuous. <laughs>